Hey, this is Tris, Editor-in-Chief here at iPhoneHacks.com, and this is iTunes 11. Bum, bum, bum. Cue music, yeah. Um, well, here it is. And you, you saw the post already, I'm sure, about, hey, look, it's here. Download it. And, hey, look, here are screenshots. It looks pretty neat. So let's look at it live. One of the things that we all complained about iTunes is that it's so freaking slow and just such a hog. Well, my impressions are right now it's not so bad. It, it you know beyond the the new the the look and everything it seems to it is a spiffier app and it does work pretty well so i'm i'm here and looking at my albums and that looks pretty darn pretty darn good um let me give you a quick tour first thing you might notice is like, oh my gosh there's no sidebar well you can turn it back on if you want but i'm going to suggest you probably aren't going to need to because the ui um is is a lot better you can jump to the different sections like music, movies, even has genres now, through this little pull down. Apps, here you go. That's how you check for your updates. Very, very slick. And back to the, the, the music part, um, you can, of course, look at all your songs individually, and you can look at your playlists, reorder them, etc. Look at things by artist. And when you look at albums in the album view, you get this nice, helpful little pop-up thing, and you can just start playing the album. There we go. And one of the neat parts of this is that now we can see what's up next. And while you know this is set on random, so they're not in album order, right? Per se, if I hit next. You know, if I want to jump and move to the next one to be, I'll be waiting, and I hit next, there we go, it's up next. And it's not changing anything in the album, it's just changing the order you want something played in. And the same thing works with playlists as well, if I launch my, my favorite playlist here, and, uh, and I want to change the order that things are in, can just drag them up and even though it's random it's pulling it up there so that's pretty spiffy now while this is playing you might want to know what does the mini player look like well I'll tell you what it looks like it looks exactly like this actually here's the mini mini player and uh, we'll turn this down just a bit and the mini mini player you, know, you see the album art now and uh, you can pop up here and see what's what's next get some suggestions, all, all kinds of different parts here. I like this, I don't know, mini maxi player that shows you what's coming up next. So if you want to move a song, again, I'm just dragging it up and putting things in the order that I'd want them so that I can just hit next. And those songs show up. And then I can pop back to the to the regular one. Okay, enough music. Let's check out the iTunes store. And if we come to home, I did a little search for Pirates of Penzance because I'm going to see it tonight. You'll notice right away, check it out. Wow, everything's big and it looks very iOS. Um, even the, 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 the cover flow has moved from, you know, vertical to horizontal. Very nice. And a thing that you can see in the uh, in the screenshots is that you can now redeem iTunes cards with your camera. We have to test this out. I have to pick up something at Starbucks or whatever to to see what's going on, because I think that's very cool and very very convenient. Now, next thing, let's talk about switching back to the library. You notice how library and iTunes Store the buttons are the same. Well, what about your devices? What does it look like when you connect a device? Well, I'll show you right here. Connect up my my iPad mini, and after it does its little communications thing, there we are. New screen here, mostly a lot at the bottom. The other thing that's kind of, that I think is new is uh, how the apps look. That's pretty cool, you get a nice look of your apps, rearrange things, which is nice. But everything else is pretty well the same in terms of layout. 
um, an organization. Maybe a little touch on the on uh, the on this iPad in sections, in the, but the the summary looks pretty pretty much the same. Little more information here in the backup area, but that's pretty well it. So this has been you know a look at iTunes 11. As you saw, it's pretty pretty fast. Um, you know, iCloud things are fast. If we look at videos, I started a video um, a little while ago. Where did they go? There we are. Videos. And I started playing that. I'll start playing this. And this is downloading live. It's not on my machine. And uh, it skips a bit. I'm doing, you know, recording and things. It takes a little, little extra time. But that's pretty fast, you know, downloading from iCloud to come in. There you go. I mean, this is iTunes 11. It looks like it's a big step up. Um, it does appear to feel faster. I uh, don't know if it's going to be, you know, the app you want to keep running all the time. We're going to have to see you in the next little while if it, if it helps. But nice refreshed UI, spiffier, speedier, tire, better tie-ins with iOS, and, you know, an all-around good update. So this has been Tris for iPhoneHacks.com and a video walkthrough of iTunes 11. Let us know in the comments what you think of iTunes 11. We'd love to hear from you.